All right, what is up you guys? Illinois Outdoorsman here, and today, first off, you're gonna see me in the same clothes for the next couple of videos. I'm going to film a couple of videos today just with the different parts of the day to break down the things these fish are doing throughout the day, especially when it gets hot. It's gonna be a high of 94 today, and right now it's quarter after six. So uh, let's see where our current water temperature is and we'll go from there. Currently our surface temp right now is 82 degrees so we're going to first off do a little bit of frog fishing before these fish move off they're still up on the bank should be anyway so we're going to see if we can't get a few fish on the frog. So my original plan for this morning was actually to go to Clinton Lake. Um, went to put fuel in the boat and realized I don't have any two cycle oil. So for those of you who don't know, my Black Max on this, the outboard is two cycle. It does have an oil tank in it. It's supposed to have a pump. It does not work. So I have a full oil tank back there that I cannot access because the pump is actually stuck in it. So I just pre-mix my fuel and that's how we do it. But I'm out of two cycle oil and AutoZone's not open at 5.30 in the morning. So yeah, so we came to Weldon Springs instead, but that's okay because we kind of have all this structure in a small lake so we can hopscotch it around and be able to show you guys everything we're doing. <coughs> so right now, we've got this whole bank here. It's lined, got just a little bit of vegetation in it. There's down trees in there. So like you see right up here, there's a couple sticks and stuff sticking out and there's random sticks. This one also has just a little bit of a cut out there. So that is going to kind of congregate some fish, but that extra structure in there actually gives them some moving lanes through this thick stuff. So before we get into this stuff, what I'm using you guys, this is a Bass Pro Shop Spray, or no, actually no, this is a Booyah Frog. So a Booyah Pad Crasher. Hopefully you guys can see this in black and red. My setup is a Quantum Smoke 7 foot 10 heavy action rod with a Quantum Smoke reel and I am running 65 pound power braid. Um, frog fishing like this, I like the braid, which it's kind of what's recommended because you can, I've got this stuff here, it's on here. It just kind of cuts right through it. So when you go to set that set a hook on that fish you can cut through the vegetation and there's no stretch so when you set the hook you're not when your rod loads up it's directly to that fish there's no stretch to the line so you're not having to sh stretch that line out first and then the hook set you can just set the hook and and then so let's say cast out there you'll retrieve you'll see guys I do it a lot I keep my rod tip down just so I can work that frog especially once I get to open water I can really walk that frog if you're fishing just straight moss like this and you're not gonna walk it you want to keep that rod tip up at like the 11 12 o'clock position what you got to remember though is it's easiest to learn that kind of pause until you feel the fish because you have to reel down and then you wait to feel the fish and then you set the hook down here you got to remember hey wait 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 and then set the hook because you're already down here your line's tight you're ready to go you just gotta mentally prepare to remember to wait so we'll get that in there let it sit especially if you're in some thick stuff like this so back here this was kind of thin this thick stuff it hits doesn't even it makes a wave but it doesn't so what you want to do is 
let it hit, let it sit for a minute. And then as you start working it, make sure they're good kind of jerks because you're trying to move the water that's underneath those weeds. So you really have to get that frog to push on it to move that water. So otherwise he just kind of goes over the top. There was one and I missed him. So we gotta get a little bit more aggressive. So that's the other thing you wanna pay attention to is how you're fishing it. What you're doing, you're retrieving when that fish hits it. So this one, I saw the fish kind of swirl, so I was trying to hurry up and get it up there to him. So I was moving it kind of quick. A little bit quick, a little bit more of an aggressive kind of go. Really spitting water. Let's see if he's still there. I might have. And most of the time, that's the other thing. When you're fishing vegetation that's this thick, those fish don't realize it's a frog. They just think it's something, hey, it's moving, it's edible. They don't know how big it is. So you'll see <clears throat> there's kind of three types of hits you'll get. You'll get the slurp, where that fish will just kind of come up, suck it under. You'll get where it just kind of comes up and it knocks the frog over. So it's just trying to knock it off into the water, get it off that vegetation. Or you will get the full blown where it'll breach the water and inhale it. It doesn't care that it's got a mouthful of vegetation at that. When you get one that that's where that weighting comes in, you wait, wait till you feel the fish because you're going to feel that weight of the vegetation first. And then you'll feel the fish. You'll feel him come back and get it again. There we go, you guys, out here on the edge. In that 10 foot zone, just started walking it. Yeah, buddy. He ain't a big one, but we didn't get skunked, so. Right there, you guys, nice little 12, 13 inch large mouth. Right out here on the edge. So what that tells me is some of these fish are out on the outside of this and they're starting to work the edge of this. They're already starting to move off out of that vegetation. Walking the frog. But I don't want to spend so much time in just this one cove because there's a couple other weed edges I do want to hit. So, we're going to stop here. I'm going to throw a couple more casts here and we're going to go on to the next weed edge. So I will see you guys at the next weed edge. All right, you guys, so, hopefully you guys can kind of see this a little bit. I'm going to turn the boat here just a hair. The heck? I don't know what that is, but over here we've got a dock, a little bit of thick vegetation. There's a tree comes out a little bit, and this is sparsed up just a, just a little bit more. So what we want to do here is, and we're close enough now, I can kind of gently cast this, but if we can, get it on the bank and just kind of let it fall in the water. Give it a twitch or two, let it sit. Give it a twitch or two, let it sit. And we're just gonna work this, because this vegetation's not nearly as dense as what it was back there, we're going to be a little more realistic with it. And really 
hopefully pull some fish out here off the edge of it. This water is semi-clear, so I mean, I don't know how deep down you can see this line. And with braid, that's really the, especially if you're frog fishing, you still want that braid. But if it's real clear water, you may tie on a eight foot leader or some fluorocarbon. Because fluorocarbon is not gonna stretch, but it sinks, so it kind of inhibits the And that right there is why you wait. I just about wore a frog. So we're gonna get it back up in there. And we'll bring it back through again. And that one, he just kind of come up and slurped it. He didn't really hammer it. And I kind of got excited talking to you guys. And I just, oh, nope, he's got it. And he didn't have it. You guys probably can't see it because I got the boat sideways. Weed edge right over here. Right up here is kind of the edge of this flat. So I want to stay kind of well outside of that when I get up there. couple casts in here and hopefully we can get one out of here so that and it kind of cleans your frog off so with that being said you guys that is frog fishing sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't when it does it's a beautiful thing when it doesn't it is absolutely frustrating because you want it to work sometimes you can make it work but if you guys like this video and you want to see more videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel down below. Follow me over on Facebook and Instagram. If you guys got questions, I now have WhatsApp on my Facebook, so you guys can reach out to me and text me, ask me questions, comments. If you guys want to order uh, flies, we'll do a fly fishing video here soon. Um, crappie jigs i've gotten into making crappie jigs so hit me up let me know colors and stuff and we can try and work something out um and remember you guys two things i want you to remember one pick up your garbage pick up somebody else's garbage just because there are lazy people in the world and two until next time you guys i'll see you out there